最後にこれから一緒に働くことになるかもしれない皆さん SoftBank is one of Asia's biggest internet groups, and it was built brick by brick by Masayoshi Son, one of Japan's most famous CEOs. When he launched SoftBank in 1981, he sold software before expanding into publishing. The company also began acquiring shares in a number of companies. That list includes Yahoo Japan, Chinese internet giant Alibaba, and US wireless carrier Sprint. SoftBank even owns a Japanese baseball team. SoftBank also operates one of Japan's largest mobile carriers, known for its popular dog mascot. In 2010, Mr. Son started a program to groom a new generation of executives in Japan to find his successor. He called it SoftBank Academia and said its mission is creating Masayoshi Son 2.0. Skill could be trained much more easily. It's, it's the passion, it's the leadership, philosophy, or approach. That takes much longer. Therefore, I want to spend 20 years, 30 years. In 2014, Mr. Sun handpicked Google executive Nikesh Sharora to join SoftBank before promoting him to second in command and heir apparent. It's actually quite fun working for him. As you mentioned, he's one of the, one of the most unique、uh, entrepreneurs, not just in Japan, but also in the world. Mr. Aurora spent billions of dollars making investments in tech companies during his time at SoftBank. You don't have to be in Silicon Valley to have the next good startup. You can be anywhere in the world. And you know, couple that with the fact that China and India are growing behemoths in the region as well as other parts of Asia. I don't think you have, you're kind of like anchored to Silicon Valley anymore. Some of these companies, however, have been burning through cash and are still losing money. Some investors drove a campaign to oust him from his post. Mr. Sun tied Mr. Aurora's recent resignation to his decision to stay in the top job for another five to ten years. The challenge for SoftBank remains how to continue to expand overseas as its growth slows.